The Duchess of Sussex is expected to give birth around April. Kensington Palace announced the news officially on October 15, when Meghan was believed to be 12 weeks pregnant. The statement from the palace said, Their Royal Highnesses very much appreciate all of the support they have received from people around the world since their wedding in May and are delighted to be able to share their happy news. Kate Middleton warned she should organize Meghan Markle's baby shower Queen Elizabeth II news, the one thing Her Majesty dislikes about. What would happen if Meghan had twins, the succession to the throne would certainly change if the Duchess gave birth to more than one baby. Prince Harry is currently sixth in line to the British throne. His firstborn baby would be seventh in line, while the second born would be in eighth position. This would push other royals back down the throne, including Prince Andrew and his daughters Eugenie and Beatrice. But this would only happen if Meghan gave birth naturally. If she had a cesarean, the royal obstetrician would have the tough decision of which baby would be first to take seventh position. Bookies have been receiving a flurry of bets on whether Meghan will give birth to twins. Meghan's 10,000 miles travel reveal despite Duchess being seven. Meghan Markle shock, could Thomas Markle reveal more of letter? Coral has set odds of 3-1 on the Duchess, having two babies this spring. Coral's John Hill said, we have seen a rush of bets on Meghan giving birth to twins later this year. This could suggest the couple have been told more than one baby is on the way. Kensington Palace has not confirmed whether Meghan is expecting twins. Has the British royal family ever had twins? The last time the royal family welcomed twins was way back in the 15th century. James I of Scotland's wife, Queen Joan, gave birth to two boys called Alexander and James on October 16, 1430. Alexander did not live for more than a year, but James eventually succeeded his father.